Good morning, students. Here uh, I'm to discuss some of the MCQs from our HS Fossil syllabus from the unit number one called Some Basic Concept of Chemistry. And here I have uh, brought some of the questions for you, uh, which have been already asked in the our previous uh, examinations. Okay, uh, which may be in your medical examination or some of the questions are there, there from your uh, JW examination. So let's start the questions discussions so from the unit number one the first question here it goes uh, it says that you know um, the number of moles of oxygen in one liter of air which contain 21 percent of volume of oxygen under stp so what is the mole of oxygen so we have to calculate it now look at this the question is the very simple one here it's talking about in one liter of air 21 percent of what o2 is there so what is the volume of oxygen would be present there so it will be what uh, 21 percent of one liter equal to what 0 0.21 liter isn't it now as regarding gaseous volume what we know 22.4 liter equal to what one mole isn't it so 0 0.21 liter equal to what 0 0.21 liter divided by so this mole 22.4 when we divide it so it coming out as 0 0.009375 something like that so as the answer is in our 0 0.0093 so we can consider it as in this mole that is what so the question number uh, your sorry option number d will be your correct answer so i have solved the question in the pattern here so you can have a look here or you can take in some screenshot of this that is what so this is 21 percent equal to this liter so mole of oxygen in this equal to this divided by this which is coming out as this okay so this is the simplest question so this type of question you may have in examination okay here it goes then the question in a container 100 gram of h2 and 100 gram of cl2 are mixed for the formation of acl gas we know right when h2 is react with cl2 we are definitely having two mole of acl so which is the limiting reason and how much hcl is formed in the reaction so this is the very interesting question but if you look at the general reaction so what here 2 gram right here 71 gram and we are getting what 73 gram of what acl we are getting right so as you look at the question what we can see here is that 71 gram of cl2 react with how many gram of this okay as according to the question what it is asking for 100 gram of cl2 so 100 gram of cl2 will react with which much so divided by 71 gram of h2 right so this much of h2 will require to us isn't it so which is equal to what approximately your 200 divided by 71 so 2 times it's what 14 2 right so 10 so when we go through this so we will have some value here so now whatever the value we will have it here so that particular value will be what it is approximately 2.82 or something like that that means what in 100 gram of cl2 from 100 gram of h2 we required this much of h2 only this much of h2 only we required so uh, i have solved the question for you so let's have a look so now what we can say that among 100 gram if you require this much of only that means what that means what that means what this amount will be left here right so look so uh, so 71 gram of cl2 will react with what 2 grams so 100 gram of cl2 will react with this gram of h2 so therefore what 100 gram minus but this much of equal to this much of h2 is left and all cl2 will what gets reduced so what we can say is that what we can say is that cl2 is the limiting reagent because it gets uh, it gets completely consumed there and h2 is left there so amount of acl form is equal to what so 100 gram plus this 2.82 gram only will react from this h2 right right so it is equal to this so this is the correct option for the answer try to go through this question okay very carefully look 
look at the you have to look after the general reaction first in every question this type of question from the stoichiometric coefficient you will have this type of question so always you have to look after the general form for 71 we need 2 gram right so 100 we need this much that means what amount so in to react with 100 gram of cl2 we need only this 2.8 gram of uh, 82 gram of h2 so what from 100 if you are reacting this only that means what so rest of the amount 97.18 one eight gram of H2 will left, right? And all Cl2 will consume. So which consume first? So that will be what your limiting reagent, right? Whose uh, amount is less? So that is what the quotient says. Okay. So you have to look after this. Okay. So another question here: the largest number of molecule is in so 36 gram of H2, 28 gram of CO, 46 gram of C2H5OH and 54 gram of N2. Now look at it from uh, here what you have to do is that you know you have to first of all try to calculate the number of mole. So 36 divided by what your 18 right equal to 2 mole. So 28 divided by uh, it is equal to what carbon 12 plus oxygen your 16 equal to 28. So this is 1 mole right. Next your 46 divided by to C2H5OH to carbon 2 right 24 oxygen uh, 1 right to 16 and this 6 right to 6 equal to what 46 so 46 equal to 1 and 54 equal to 108 so equal to 0 0.5 so which is a greater mole ox 36 gram of uh, H2O right so 36 gram of H2 means what 2 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 28 number of molecule so definitely those who has higher moles it will contain what higher number of molecule so I have solved the question for you so you can have a look here so that is 36 gram of H2 so it's the same pattern you can have a screenshot and go for details of it okay okay so the next question how many moles of magnesium phosphate will contain 0 0.25 mole of oxygen atom? Okay, it's a very interesting question you can see here. Look, uh, if you talk about 1 mole of uh, magnesium phosphate, you know, so what is the number of oxygen here? So that means what 8 mole of oxygen atoms are there, right? 8 mole of O atoms are there. So what we can say now, if you are talking about uh, mole of 1 oxygen atom, so this is 8 moles of what? 8 oxygen atom right so 1 mole equal to uh, so 1 mole of it equal what 1 by 8 right when a uh, mole of 1 oxygen atom equal to 1 by 8 mole right so what we can say so mole of uh, so this now what we are asking for it is asking for what 0 0.25 mole so 0 0.25 means what 1 by 4 of what this 1 by 8 that means what equal to 1 by 32 mole of what your mg3po4 whole 2 will require means this this much of will contain that much of 0 0.25 mole of what your oxygen atom so which is equal to what 0 point so if you go through the calculation of this so we will have this that is what approximately if you bring it here the answer is not in that format right so 3.125 we can have it here so once it come here so it will become what minus 2 look at the question very carefully it says that we require this much mole of oxygen atom so what is the uh, how many moles of magnesium phosphate will contain so we are saying this equal to one mole of magnesium phosphate equal to eight mole of oxygen atom right so mole of one oxygen atom equal to one by eight mole so it's this much so this much comes from where one by eight mole so equal to one by 32 so this is equal to this so i've solved the question for you you can have a look here or have a screenshot of this also okay so go very carefully okay the next question it says that two gram of oxygen contains number of atoms same as in look two gram of oxygen you can if you try to find out then you can go for mole also right so it's two by what oxygen atom so 16 right so two by 16 means what 180 atom so what you have to check is that among these four option which will have one by eight atom so four gram option one look four gram of sulfur means what four by uh, what equal to it is uh, uh, what 32 so one eight to one by eight so right so definitely it will have because say in case of nitrogen so hydrogen it's uh, 0.5 by uh, 2 right so equal to this that means what our 4 gram of sulfur will also have what 1 by 8 atom okay so you can have a look at the salt part here so i have solved for the every portion so 2 gram of oxygen equal to 2 by 16 equal to 1 by 8 atom 
so we have to find what in which of the option we have one by eight atom so that contain only by what your sulfur so this is the correct answer for you so i have written the answer here so you have you can have a look here also okay very carefully okay the another question here hemoglobin contain 0.33 percent of iron by mass okay and the molecular mass of hemoglobin is 67200 and it contain what 0.33 this much of iron it will contain if you divide it it will come out as 221.7 something like that so which is equal to you can write like this now what it says in this much of molecular mass um, uh, weight of iron what is the number of iron we have to so atomic number of iron is given to at 56 so just simply divide this 222 value by 56 which will be what your Mm, what will be it? 2, 2, 256 um, is 4, 24, 4, 2, 20, 22. Approximately it will come out as this, right? 4. So you can go after this, okay? So I have solved the question for you. Approximately it will be 4, I think, right? 3.96 look here the mass of hemoglobin this very simple the mass of iron in hemoglobin equal to this percent so equal to 2 to 1.76 so it equal to this so number of iron atom equal to 3.96 approximately which is equal to 4 atom so it's very simple so the option c is the correct answer for you okay next question under similar condition oxygen and nitrogen are taken in the same mass okay O2 and nitrogen are taken in the same mass. Let's say their mass equal to m or small m. You are taking right. The ratio of their uh, volume will be. So what will be the ratio of their volume? Uh, so mass is given right. So m we know this. Their mass are same. We know their molecular masses right. We know their molecular masses. So 32. It's 28. So they are asking for their ratio of their volume. Look only what given mass is there or molar mass is there and it is asking for the ratio of the volume now what do we know from the Avogadro's law uh, volume is directly proportional to mole so from these two value we can easily find out the mole and we can take the ratio of there right so that's the what we have to do it here so volume of o2 volume of uh, n2 equal to what mole of o2 divided by mole of what n2 so what will be the answer so we can have a look at here okay i have solved the question for you so look from Avogadro's law, we know V is directly proportional to N. So let's say M is the molar mass. So in this condition, so what this so mole. So mole of atom means what? Give molar mass divided. Uh, sorry, given mass divided by molar mass. So here also mole of N2 means this. So mm will cancel out. 28 will go there and 20, 32 will come out here. So this what? Uh, 4 7 uh, 4 8. So it's what? 7 2 8. So this is the correct option for you. Okay. Okay, another simple question for you, 2.5 liter of 1 molarity sodium hydroxide, that is what 2 solution would be here and this. So here what, uh, V1 equal to 2.5 liter and M1 equal to 1 molarity. So here V2 equal to what, 3 liter and M2 equal to what this and the molarity of the resulting solution. Look, in this case, what we can do, you know, this is what M1 V1 plus uh, M2 V2 and what we can do, M mix equal to what v1 plus v2 so here we have to find this so multiply all these value and it will come out right so what you can do is that in this way so we have to apply the formula this so here in this so v1 and m1 we have written here also we have gone so therefore this equal to so this will be the correct answer so you give it's in simple mathematical calculation you can go through these things okay okay another question here uh, given that the abundance of isotope of this iron atomic mass 54 56 and 57 are five percent this than this so what is the atomic mass of iron now look at it. you in this case you know right uh, what we have to do is that you know whatever the uh, atom is given so it is what we have to do what is the atomic number 54 into abundance divided by percentage means 100 so plus we have to do this 56 into what 90 divided by 100 so uh, 57 into 5 divided by 100 so because as because percentage we are dividing by 100 so what we have to do basically is that you know whatever the atomic mass and the natural abundance given to us so we have to multiply and add them together okay so as we go through this so we are having this much of answer so you can have a look at it's very simple you have gone through this in the classroom also i think right and so you can go through these things okay so this is the correct answer for here this is the very simple thing Okay, here I am having another question. A solution is obtained by adding 
30 percent of 200 gram and uh, 20 percent of 300 gram solution right uh, by weight so what is the percentage of solute in the final solution look two solutions are there a and b consider it is 200 gram and it is 300 gram so 230 percent is what solute the rest is what your solvent so it is what 20 percent is what solute the rest 80 percent is what your solvent so 20 per uh, 30 percent of uh, 200 minus 60 gram right and here also 60 gram so if we mix them so what will be the total weight of what call your solute it will be what 60 plus 60 equal to 120 and what will be the total uh, mass of the solution so it will be what this total mass will be this so it is divided by what 500 right so percentage money what into multiply by this so 0 0 it will cancel out so what do you have to do so what is the percentage we have 0 0 0 0 so 120 divided by 5 so it will be i think approximately 24 percent so this is the correct answer so here is the solvable part so you can go through these things okay students uh, so here uh, i am ending it here today so if you liking the video if you're going through the concept whatever you required then please like the video or share it with your friends okay comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe okay thank you so tomorrow we will go with the another unit called unit number two okay thank you bye bye